This is First Alert Weather. Well, here's a uh, look at our uh, uh, graphic here that's going to allow you to download our WIBW weather app. If you want to scan it real quickly here before we get into the forecast, uh, we are going to have those updates, push notifications, videos here uh, that we've already posted today and we'll continue to be posting here throughout tomorrow and into Tuesday as we prepare for this snowstorm to really uh, grip northeast Kansas within the next 12 hours. We're going to start to see that move through. Now, right now, the live storm tracker not showing anything close by just yet here. We're still looking at a pretty clear sky for the most part with the uh, warnings and watches having been adjusted slightly here a bit. Now a little bit further to the south, we have some of these pink winter storm warnings in place as well as the uh, watches here for uh, some areas further close to I-70 and the turnpike as well as south of there. And that's really going to illustrate the differences, at least for snowfall totals here as we head towards tomorrow and into Tuesday. Likely going to see much uh, more accumulation of that snow here if you're further out towards the west of I-70 and Topeka and north, especially along the Nebraska border compared to areas that are a little bit further south. Those totals, a difference of about three to four inches uh, is possible for, uh, again, a lot of northeast Kansas. But here's a look at our supercast. I think at the very earliest, 5 to 6 a.m. is probably where we're going to see some of these uh, precipitation starting to move in here from initially the southwest and west. But as we go through the day, we're going to start to see a lot of those big bands of snow after it transitions to snow here, move through and arch through northeast Kansas before we head into Tuesday. And uh, we see a bit of more impacts there relative to uh, the wind rather than the snow. I think by Tuesday morning here, we're going to have the majority of the snow already fallen. Uh, but by that point, as I mentioned, the impact are going to be varying here as you look from east to west. Topeka, Lawrence, Emporia, Melvern, this area again along the interstates. These totals are probably going to be more so between four and six inches, similar to what we saw here over Thanksgiving weekend just a month and a half ago. But further out towards the west and the north, you can see these totals are ever increasing here a little bit, getting close to six, seven, eight, nine inches in some spots as well. Locally, we could hit some double digits here, 10 or more more if you're uh, in some very snow prone or isolated spots up there. So that is also something to be aware of. And of course, the wind for Tuesday is going to be the second really big part and component of this system. A lot of the snow will have fallen already by Tuesday. Doesn't mean we're not expecting more snow, just probably a lighter amount, maybe only an additional inch or two, if not just a little more than that. But the winds, which will be blowing out of the southeast for tomorrow afternoon and still going to be gusty and chilly, are going to kick it up to another level here as we head towards Tuesday. You can see now out of the north, so that's going to make things even chillier. Probably wind chills close to the single digits or the teens. And uh, as you can see, close to 40 miles per hour with freshly fallen snow on the ground. Visibility is going to be very, very low here. So again, Monday is the snowfall and Tuesday is going to be that wind and low visibility. By Tuesday night, I think we're going to see things die down a little bit and hopefully we will be in a uh, better state here as we get a brief break before maybe more snow later on this weekend. 35 degrees for tonight, dry until probably 5 to 6 a.m. with again those winds out of the southeast. That's going to allow for some rain to move in initially tomorrow here. So in the morning, it's going to be a mix by the afternoon, late afternoon. That's when we will probably see more of an entirety of snow here. First alert and weather days here for Monday and Tuesday. And then it looks like again, very cold temperatures and possibly more snow this weekend.